Hey everyone, this is Bad But Sweaty, and in today's video I will be going over the weapon frequency data that I gathered over the course of the late Season 14. If you are new to the channel or don't know how the weapon frequency works, it is just a long series of encounters in a given season where we log every time we see a weapon to gauge how common it is. This data helps indicate certain things within the game, such as what the meta is, what weapons could use buffs or nerfs, and how many new players are picking up the game. I just want to add that this data is very tedious to gather and even more tedious to break down into a usable format, such as the pie charts and other graphics you'll see throughout the video, so a like on this video would be greatly appreciated. Without any further delay, let's begin. For Season 14, I gathered 236 rounds worth of data, and there were 2,273 total weapons used within those rounds. All of this data was gathered on Xbox, in North American servers, and between the times of 2 p.m. and 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. For these reasons, the data may be slightly different to what you may see in your matches if you play at different times or in different regions. That being said, let's start breaking this data down. The meta for Season 14 is generally considered to be a toss-up between a large swath of weapons. But I picked some of the more common answers from when I asked what gun people thought was meta. The first being the Bugle. In Season 13, it made up a whopping 5.9% of the total weapons used, and in Season 14, it only got worse, rising to 6.2% of all weapons used. Next is the L85. This weapon took a surprisingly long time to come into the spotlight, being added in Season 10, but only just now becoming a major part of the meta conversation. It had 4.1% of all weapon uses in Season 13, and rose to 4.7% in Season 14. Moving on, we have the M249. This weapon was becoming a major problem before the sweeping LMG nerfs that came through a couple of seasons ago, which halted its reign of terror on the meta. It went from 4.9% of all weapon uses in Season 13 to 4.3% in Season 14. The biggest drop in usage for a meta weapon came with the MG3. This one fell from a respectable 4% usage rate in Season 13 to just a 1.9% usage rate in Season 14, firmly thrusting it from the meta where it will hopefully never return. The top three most used weapons for this season in the data are the Bugle at 6.2%, the VZ-58 at 5.9%, and the L85 at 4.7%. This next couple of weapons is typically a good indicator of how many new players were playing the game in a given season. These weapons are the Thompson, which was at 3.5% in Season 13 and rose to 4.1% in Season 14, the VZ-58, which had a 4.5% usage rate in Season 13 and a 5.9% usage rate in Season 14. This tells me that a fair bit more new players picked up the game in Season 14 than in the previous season, which is always a good sign. Other weapons that I think are interesting to look at are the AKM and ES-16. These weapons used to always be competitors for the top spot in weapon usage, but have fallen from grace a little in recent seasons, and this one is no different. The AKM had 4.5% in Season 13, and 3.9% in Season 14. And the ES-16 had 3.3% and 2.5% respectively. The last individual weapon we will be going over is the new weapon that came out in Season 14, the M4. 
It had a good outing in its debut season, making up 2.2% of the total weapon usage, which is about average for a new weapon. The shifting dynamic of the weapon classes was a large focus of the last couple weapon frequency videos that Chris made, so we'll start the next part of this video there. Assault rifles were running away with the top spot in the weapon frequency, sitting at an absurd 43% of all weapons used in Season 11, despite only being 16% of the weapons in the game at the time. After the LMG buff in Season 12, assault rifle usage fell to a more acceptable 28.1% of all weapons used. In Season 14, they gained some of that ground back, rising to 32.2% after all of the LMG nerfs recently. LMG usage understandably fell by a good margin in Season 14, dropping from 20.7% in Season 13 to 16.5% in Season 14, though it stayed far higher than its Season 11 usage rate of 4.69. Nice. SMGs deserving a buff has been the subject of much discussion among the community, but the data doesn't really support the theory of the category needing one. It shifted from a solid 16.1% usage rate to 17.1% between seasons 13 and 14. Shotguns are having trouble attracting people into using them, due in no small part to the fact that the lower rarity shotguns, the Silver Pigeon and the IZH, are just flat out bad. And also due to them having only six weapons in their category, which is fewer than any other. They barely moved at all between seasons 13 and 14, going from 6.2% to 6.3%. Rifles had good usage stats back in Season 13, sitting at 20.8% of all weapon usage, and that did not change much in Season 14, coming in at 19.6%. Pistols have had usage problems for a long time now, for a lot of reasons such as the fire rate nerf many seasons ago and the fact that the category doesn't have many good weapons in it. They went from 8.1% in Season 13 to 8.2% in Season 14. The main breadwinners for each category in Season 14 were, for assault rifles, the Bugle, being 19.3% of all assault rifles used, for LMGs, the M249, at 25.9% of all LMGs used. For SMGs, the Thompson, at 23.9% of all SMGs used. For shotguns, the Silver Pigeon, at 27.8% of all shotguns used. For rifles, the SVU, at 14.8% of all rifles used. And finally, for pistols, the Rafika at 25.7% of all pistols used. The final thing I want to talk about in this data is weapon rarity. The overuse of high rarity weapons has been a problem for a while now, and the devs tried to remedy that by nerfing the crates. Players will now obtain only about one-fifth as many weapons per crate as before in military grade and special issue crates. This fix will likely take several seasons to bear fruit, as it hasn't seemed to influence what weapons people are bringing into encounters yet, but it's certainly a step in the right direction by the devs. That being said, special issue weapons went from 18.5% to 18.7% between seasons 13 and 14, which is well within the margin of error, and the difference should be taken with a grain of salt. Military grade weapons went from 31.2% to 34.1%. Rare weapons went from 13.9% to 11.5%. Uncommon weapons went from 7.7% to 6.2%. And common weapons, which also includes the plentiful category, went from 28.6% to 29.5%.
The main breadwinners for these categories in Season 14 were, for special issue, the L85 at 25.2% of all special issue weapons used. For military grade, the Bugle at 18.5% of all military grade weapons used. For rare weapons, the RPK at 14% of all rare weapons used. For uncommon weapons, the MG3 at 31.9% of all uncommon weapons used. And finally, for common weapons, the VZ-58, at 20.2% of all common weapons used. Anyway, those are all the things I found interesting about this batch of weapon data. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, because as I said, this data is extremely tedious to gather. But until next time, this has been Bad But Sweaty from the Christopher Beast channel. Have a nice day.